Right, we're turning to Greece, where the island of Santorini is right now under a state of emergency after a series of earthquakes that started January 31st. Hundreds of earthquakes and tremors have been rumbling every few minutes in recent days. Santorini earthquakes, a ticking time bomb in disguise. In recent days, Naples, Italy, has been shaken by a remarkable and alarming series of seismic events. The last time this volcano erupted was about 500 years ago. But recently, small tremors have grown really frequent, to such an extent that scientists have been recording more than a thousand a month. I'm talking about the Campi Flegri supervolcano in Italy. The Mediterranean sleeping giants. Are we on the verge of a double volcanic eruption? Imagine waking up to a sudden alert flashing across your screen. Massive volcanic eruption near Greece. Tsunami warning issued. Before you can even process that, another terrifying notification appears. Supervolcano awakens in Italy. Emergency declared in Naples. At first, it sounds like a scene from a Hollywood disaster movie. A worst case scenario, straight out of science fiction. But what if I told you that right now, as you watch this, two of the Mediterranean's deadliest volcanic giants are showing signs of awakening at the exact same time? These aren't just ordinary volcanoes. One of them, Santorini, is the shattered remnant of a colossal explosion so powerful that it may have wiped out the entire Minoan civilization and given rise to the legend of Atlantis. The other, Campi Flegre, is a monstrous supervolcanic caldera capable of devastating the city of Naples and sending ash clouds across Europe. For the first time in centuries, both volcanoes are showing alarming signs of seismic activity, shaking, swelling, and whispering warnings from the depths of the Earth. Scientists are rushing to understand whether this is a mere coincidence or a signal that something far more sinister is brewing beneath our feet. Could these two volcanoes somehow be connected by unseen forces deep within the Earth's mantle? Are we witnessing the beginning of a new cycle of fire beneath the Mediterranean? The answers may be more terrifying than we ever imagined. Santorini, the Aegean's time bomb. The islands of Santorini, known for their breathtaking cliffs and stunning blue waters, hide one of the most destructive secrets in human history. Beneath this idyllic tourist paradise lies a volcanic system so powerful that its past eruptions have rewritten history. More than 3,600 years ago, Santorini experienced one of the most violent eruptions ever recorded, an event so massive that it left behind the flooded caldera we see today. The eruption was so intense that it is believed to have triggered a series of catastrophic tsunamis that devastated the Minoan civilization on the nearby island of Crete. Ancient cities were wiped out in an instant, their ruins buried under layers of volcanic ash. But the devastation didn't stop there. The eruption spewed enormous amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, causing climate disruptions that may have plunged the world into years of darkness and famine. Some researchers believe that this event contributed to the downfall of ancient civilizations far beyond the Mediterranean, as far as China and the Middle East. Today, that same volcanic system is stirring once again. Scientists have recorded an unprecedented rise in seismic activity around the island. Since early 2025, over 12,800 earthquakes have been detected in the region, with some exceeding 5.3 in magnitude. These quakes have been particularly concentrated in the underwater areas surrounding Santorini and the nearby island of Amorgos. Even more concerning, satellite data has revealed that the ground is rising, a phenomenon known as inflation, which often precedes volcanic eruptions. As magma pushes upward, it causes the land to swell, much like a balloon about to burst. In addition, gas emissions from the caldera have spiked, suggesting that molten rock deep within the earth is on the move. Volcanologists fear that if pressure continues to build, Santorini could experience another devastating eruption. If history is any guide, such an event could have far-reaching consequences, not only for Greece, but for the entire Mediterranean. Campi Flegrei, the supervolcano, 
beneath Naples. While Mount Vesuvius looms ominously over Naples, it is not the volcano that keeps scientists awake at night. That distinction belongs to Campi Flegre, a vast, hidden supervolcano stretching beneath the city and its surrounding region. Unlike Vesuvius, which is a towering cone-shaped volcano, Campi Flegre is a sprawling eight-mile-wide caldera, a giant cauldron of churning magma buried just beneath the surface. The history of Campi Flegre is filled with terrifying eruptions that have shaped the very landscape of Italy. Around 39,000 years ago, it unleashed one of the most powerful volcanic explosions in European history, an eruption so massive that it may have played a role in the extinction of the Neanderthal. The explosion ejected enormous amounts of ash, covering vast portions of the continent in darkness and causing a sudden drop in global temperature. Ashfall from this eruption has been found as far away as Russia, proving the far-reaching impact of this cataclysmic event. In more recent history, in 1538, the ground near Naples split open and began spewing lava, forming a brand new mountain called Monte Nuovo, new mountain in just a matter of day. Villagers at the time were caught completely off guard, witnessing the earth reshape itself before their very eyes. This eruption was relatively minor compared to the super eruption of 39,000 years ago, but it provided a stark reminder that Campi Flegre is still active. Today, the threat is even greater. Naples is home to nearly 3 million people, most of whom live directly on top of this ticking time bomb. Scientists monitoring Campi Flegre have reported that the ground is rising at an alarming rate of 1.5 centimeters per month, a sign that magma is pushing its way toward the surface. This phenomenon, known as Brady Sism, has been ongoing for decades, but has recently intensified, leading experts to believe that an eruption could be approaching within our lifetime. Over the past several months, seismic activity has also intensified. In February 2025 alone, the region recorded more than a dozen earthquakes, including two powerful magnitude 3.9 tremors that were felt as far as central Naples. Historically, increased seismic activity has preceded volcanic eruptions, making these developments particularly concerning. Even more disturbing, scientists have detected unusual gas emissions leaking from the ground, similar to what was observed before its previous eruption. These gases contain high levels of carbon dioxide and sulfur, indicators that magma is moving closer to the surface and that pressure is building deep within the caldera. In some areas, water bodies have started to bubble ominously, another telltale sign that gases are escaping from underground chambers. Local authorities have issued warnings to residents in high-risk zones, urging them to be prepared for a potential crisis. If Campi Flagre were to erupt today, the consequences would be catastrophic. Naples could be buried under layers of ash, transportation and emergency services would collapse, and the entire European airspace could be shut down due to airborne volcanic debris. The economic impact would be devastating, disrupting trade and supply chains across Europe. In the worst case scenario, pyroclastic flows, fast moving currents of superheated gas and volcanic material could sweep through densely populated areas, making escape nearly impossible. Beyond the immediate region, a major eruption from Campi Flegre could have global consequences. The amount of ash and sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere could lead to a temporary cooling of the planet, similar to what occurred after the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora, which led to the infamous year without a summer. Agriculture across Europe could suffer as a result, leading to food shortages and economic turmoil, with both Santorini and Campi Flegre experiencing unrest at the same time. Could there be a deeper, hidden connection between these two distant volcanoes? Some geologists have suggested that the Mediterranean region may be entering a new phase of increased volcanic activity, potentially driven by shifts in tectonic activity. Whether or not these events are connected, one thing is certain. Campi Flegre remains one of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth, and scientists are watching its every move with growing concern. Could these two volcanoes be connected? At first glance, Santorini and Campi Flegre appear to be completely unrelated. After all, they are located more than 1,000 kilometers apart 
separated by the vast waters of the Mediterranean Sea. However, recent studies suggest that deep within the Earth's mantle, volcanic systems can be interconnected in ways we never previously imagined. One groundbreaking study from 2018 found that large-scale magma movements beneath the Earth's crust can influence volcanic systems thousands of kilometers away. According to this research, the shifting of molten rock deep within the mantle could create enormous changes in underground pressure, triggering seismic activity in distant regions. This means that a magma surge beneath one volcano could destabilize another, even if they are geographically distant. Another potential link between Santorini and Campi Flegre lies in the tectonic forces shaping the Mediterranean. Both volcanoes sit on subduction zone, areas where one tectonic plate is slowly pushing beneath another. This subduction process is what fuels volcanic activity in the region. If pressure is increasing along these fault lines, it could be affecting both volcanic systems simultaneously. Further evidence supporting a possible connection between the two volcanoes comes from seismic and geochemical studies. Some researchers have observed synchronized seismic swarms in regions with no apparent direct geological connection. Additionally, gas emissions from deep within the Earth's crust at both Santorini and Campi Flegre have shown similarities in composition, suggesting a deeper, shared magmatic reservoir. If true, this would mean that changes in one volcanic system could have far-reaching consequences beyond its immediate location. Historically, large-scale eruptions have had cascading effects on global climates and geological systems. For instance, the eruption of Indonesia's Tambora in 1815 led to a year without a summer, affecting weather patterns worldwide. If Santorini or Campi Flegre were to experience a major eruption, the repercussions could extend beyond the Mediterranean, impacting not just seismic activity, but also atmospheric conditions and climate on a global scale. Could we be on the brink of a chain reaction, a scenario where the awakening of one volcano sets off a series of eruptions across the Mediterranean. The possibility remains uncertain, but researchers continue to monitor seismic activity, gas emissions, and other geological indicators. Understanding these potential interconnections is crucial for improving early warning system and preparing for future volcanic events that could have devastating effects on populations in the region and beyond. Magma plumes and deep earth interactions. Recent studies suggest that volcanic eruptions might be influenced by deep magma plume, rising columns of molten rock that connect different volcanoes over vast distances. These plumes can generate intense heat and pressure changes in the Earth's mantle, potentially triggering seismic activity in multiple locations at the same time. Magma plumes originate from deep within the Earth's mantle, sometimes as far down as the core mantle boundary, and slowly rise due to differences in temperature and density. As they ascend, they create regions of partial melting, leading to volcanic hotspots and potentially influencing subduction zones and mid-ocean ridges. One of the most well-known examples of magma plume activity is the Hawaiian hotspot, where a stationary plume feeds a chain of volcanic islands as the Pacific plate moves over it. However, scientists are now exploring whether large-scale interconnected plumes exist beneath tectonic plate boundaries, linking distant volcanic systems. Such an interconnected network could explain why some volcanoes, seemingly unrelated at the surface, experience simultaneous activity. Scientists are currently investigating whether Santorini and Campi Flegre are being influenced by the same deep magma source, which could explain their simultaneous unrest. By analyzing seismic data, geochemical signatures of erupted materials, and computer modeling of subsurface magma dynamics, researchers hope to confirm whether a shared plume exists. If proven, this discovery could revolutionize our understanding of volcanic system and improve early warning mechanism for future eruption. Additionally, such research underscores the importance of monitoring interconnected geological structure as unexpected eruptions could pose significant risks to populations living near these active regions. The role of climate change in volcanic activity. There is growing evidence 
that climate change could play a role in increasing volcanic activity. The melting of polar ice caps and glaciers is reducing surface pressure, which can destabilize magma chambers deep below the Earth's crust. This process, known as isostatic rebound, occurs when the weight of ice and water is removed from the lithosphere, allowing the crust to rise and potentially trigger increased volcanic and seismic activity. This phenomenon has been observed in regions with significant glacial melting, such as Iceland, where a direct correlation between ice loss and increased volcanic eruptions has been recorded. In addition to glacial melting, climate change-induced sea level rise may also impact volcanic systems. In regions like the Mediterranean, where sea levels are rising due to thermal expansion and ice melt, changes in hydrostatic pressure on the ocean floor could influence the stress on tectonic plates. This could, in turn, contribute to increased seismic activity observed in both Santorini and Campi Flegre. When pressure dynamics shift, magma chambers may experience changes in stability, leading to heightened unrest and a higher likelihood of eruption. Another factor linking climate change to volcanic activity is the increasing frequency of extreme weather events. Heavy rainfall and flooding have been shown to influence volcanic systems by infiltrating the crust and triggering phreatic explosions where water rapidly heats and turns to steam, causing violent eruption. Such events have been documented in volcanoes like Mount St. Helens, where sudden rainfall led to explosive steam-driven eruptions. If global warming continues at its current pace, such interactions between climate and volcanic activity may become more common. The implications of these climate volcano interactions extend beyond direct eruption. Ash clouds from volcanic activity can contribute to short-term cooling effects by injecting aerosols into the stratosphere, which reflects sunlight away from the Earth. However, in a warming world, such cooling effects are temporary and insufficient to counteract the long-term impact of greenhouse gas emission. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for both climate scientists and volcanologists, as predicting how the Earth's changing climate influences geological activity will be essential for risk assessment and disaster preparedness in vulnerable regions. Are we standing on the edge of a new era? The signs are impossible to ignore. Santorini is rumbling beneath the Aegean, Campi Flegre is swelling beneath Naples, and scientists are racing to determine what comes next. History has shown us that volcanoes don't erupt randomly. They follow patterns, cycles, and deep earth forces that we are only just beginning to understand. Some of the most catastrophic eruptions in history have come after long periods of dormancy, just like the restless calderas we see today. But what does this mean for the millions of people living in these regions? If a large-scale eruption were to occur, it could have devastating consequences not only for the local population, but also for global climate patterns, air travel, and economies. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 caused a year without summer, disrupting agriculture worldwide. Could we be on the brink of another such event? The question remains, are these quakes and tremors simply geological noise? Or are we witnessing the first warnings of a disaster far greater and far deadlier than we can predict. What do you think? Are we overanalyzing natural cycles or should we be more concerned? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this discussion interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on Earth's most powerful forces.